I'm joined by a very special guest here today, Richard Sands, who is our executive vice chairman, who is celebrating his 40th year with the company. Richard, thanks for spending time with us today. I really appreciate you being here. Can you talk a little bit about how you came to Constellation in the first place and the various roles that you've had over the last 40 years? I came in 1979 after going to graduate school in social psychology. My father, he felt that it was very important that I really learn the algebra of the business. And what that meant to him was spending time learning how we crush grapes, making wine, working in the laboratory, understanding government records, working in the bottling. And then my father would start teaching me the principles of the business, what our customers were looking for, what consumers expected of us. From that point forward, we ran the company together. His advice was, listen, you're a very good listener. So just listen to the management and help them really work together. And I would say that's when the foundation strategies of what we do today were formed. This year, my 40th anniversary, we get to celebrate Bill Newlands, the first non-SANS person to be CEO. So it's been an exciting, exciting venture. Was that a difficult decision for you and Rob to make? And what characteristics were most important to you in our next CEO? So I would say it was not difficult because Bill really understands this business. And he understands people and understands leadership. All of the important values, aspects of our culture that make us what we are today, Bill has an inherent knowledge of and knows how to enhance and evolve those so that we move from where we are today to where we need to be in the future. What would you say were the keys to our success back then in that era of rapid growth? So that's the next important piece, which is to be able to adapt to change, to adapt to the consumer. The consumer's always changing. And to be out there one step ahead instead of a Me Too follower. The art of making an acquisition, finding good acquisitions that fit, is still very important in this company. So following the consumer, innovation, adaptability, change, and acquisitions were the foundation of the company then and are the foundation of the company today. Wow. We as a company have seen a significant amount of change over the years. So I'm curious, what is your view on the current state of Constellation's business and all that you see transpiring? I think we have more opportunity in front of us than we've ever had before. Our organization, the management team, is the best it's ever been. They've got great tools to analyze where we've been and where we want to go. They've got great insight into the consumer that helps us be a consumer-driven company. The fact that Rob and the management team made a decision to invest in the largest and most innovative forerunner in the cannabis industry, I think, goes to show that we're on the leading edge. Most companies would not take on that opportunity. But it's a very, very, very appropriate measured risk with a tremendous reward potential and opportunity. So, very excited about the future. The future is bright. All right. I want to shift gears a little bit okay. and talk about community involvement. Where does that come from? And can you give us a flavor for some of the things that the Sands family and Constellation have been able to do, particularly here in the Rochester area? First of all, it definitely comes from my mother and father, Marvin and Mickey, who were very devoted to their community. A healthy community has a good education infrastructure, a good infrastructure for the development of children and families, has exposure to the arts, and maybe most important, good healthcare system. The Rochester General Health System is very important. Rob has really been involved since the early days in that. 
F.F. F. Thompson Hospital in Canandaigua. My father was very involved in Rob also, my mother. Marvin's involvement with the YMCA, which we continue to support in Canandaigua, is very critical, very critical to building healthy families in Canandaigua. We support the high school, the Finger Lakes Community College. We support the arts with CMAC, the culinary arts, Rochester Philharmonic. You're very involved with an organization called the Education Success Foundation. Yes. Education Success Foundation is all about creating quality education opportunities for the underserved. Kids with learning differences. The school system doesn't necessarily attend to those differences. We realize that the learning strategies that were being used in our founding organization, which was the Norman Howard School, are the same strategies that are necessary for people in poverty to really learn. It was time to unlock the keys and give the community quality opportunities. It's not just creating the opportunity, but you have to remove the many obstacles that exist for these kids. And knock on wood, we're making a difference right now, child by child, family by family. That's how you build systemic change. That's great. Well, I hear there is a group that is gathering in the community kitchen as we speak. You mind if we go? Let's do take it. A visit. All Let's right. do it. Thanks. I'd love to. Let's go. So Richard, we're here in the community kitchen. We've got some special guests that want to say hello. Great. Come on in, guys. Great. Oh boy. <laughs> look at this. Wow, look at that. Good job. So does everybody know what that says? Yes. What does it say? Congratulations and thank you. That is right. And what is that? 40. 40. 40. Because I have worked for 40 years. Richard. Yes. Thank you for 40 years. Congratulations. And thank you so much for all you do for kids and families and helping them attain educational success. Last question for yep. you. Is there any advice that you would give current Constellation employees? Our employees work very hard. They're devoted to the company. And they should really find within the company what areas give them pleasure. Learn as much as they can from everyone around them. And then take what they learn and their passions and continue to be stewards of the company's success and of the company's culture and values. And I think that concept of stewardship uh, is very, very important to all of us. We promise to carry the ball for the next 40 years. Well, thank you. Cheers, congratulations on 40 years. Thank you.